what we have today is a rifle from my uncle. He wanted me to take it down, do a little bit of cleaning on it, then take it out, shoot it. So I'm not going to refuse that. So what we've got is a nice looking arrow lower, slick sides, no forward assist, rear charge. Uh, looks like we've got a quad rail mount, stainless barrel, muzzle brake. Looks like a really high riser. And this one is in 6.5 Grendel. So, we'll break it open, see what the bulk carrier group looks like. Um, looks like he's got some sort of a locker assembly on the rear takedown pin. So, I'll have to pull that out. But otherwise, nice looking rifle. Adjustable gas block. is that hmm. I'm not familiar with that one well we'll get to play with that in the future next up pull it apart okay step one to cleaning no ammunition make sure the magazines removed Check the chamber. No bullets in the mag. No bullets in the action. No bullets in the work area. So everything is free of live ammunition. We can start with a disassembly. I like a light colored uh, bench cover. That way I can see the dark springs and pins a little bit easier. We'll open it up to see what's inside. All right, upper and lower are split now. Some sort of a weird takedown bolt lock assembly. I'm not familiar with those. But you definitely don't accidentally open this gun up without some tools. Carrier doesn't look horrible. We'll take the thing apart, see what the firing pin, all the mechanisms inside look like. Run a brush through, patch, clean them, light oil. Give it a thorough going through. Well, I'll get the bolt carrier apart. Definitely some carbon and gunk in there. We'll get that cleaned up so it's not quite so sticky. Oh yeah, we can get this cleaned up. Make it run. 
uh, nice and smooth again. Okay, then wet patches, then dry patches. Got these cleaned up a lot better than they were. You need to be right there. Focus on that. Put a little light oil on parts, pieces, reassemble them. Ran a cable through the bore, a little cleaner at first and a couple of dry patches. And we'll put just a light film oil, actually this one's stainless steel. I'll probably just uh, dry patch and call that done. And put it all together and get her outside, run some bullets through it. All right, get the bulk area group back together. The upper has been cleaned, reassembled, uh, making particular sure that no patches remain in the muzzle brake. The lower doesn't look too bad. Run a couple of patches through that. Just swab some of the dust out. It looks and feels like the trigger has been upgraded. Looks like some anti walk pins in the trigger group. And then a nice magpole adjustable stock. see also the pistol grip it's got an extra little shelf here looks like that'll hold your index finger out away from the trigger kind of forcing you to use just the pad of your index finger versus wrapping your knuckle your joint around it yeah I'll wipe a little dust out of that clean things up, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Probably pull the buffer, buffer spring. Yeah, got a little oil left in my fingers. I'll just kind of wipe the, wipe the buffer spring down. camera in there. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that cleaned up pretty well. So, quick inspection with a flashlight. This one from Tac Knives. A uh, pile of cleaning rags. We'll clean all that stuff up, put all the tools back, roll the cable. Cable snakes back up. And then next up, we'll be getting this thing out to the range. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.